Most of us know when we're talking to a robot or a robotic voice on the phone. But what if your in-home digital assistant could make some calls for you? And the person on the other end of the line had no idea they were talking to Alexa or Siri or Google Assistant. It's Wednesday, May 9th, and one of the demos shown at Google's I.O. conference yesterday was pretty stunning called Google Duplex. It's basically a natural voice type of interaction system for your Google Assistant, wherein your home bot makes calls for you to schedule an appointment or do other tasks. CNET's Andrew Gebhardt gave it a go and seeing how the system uses very human-like pauses such as um and so on, it's also impossible to tell that a machine is one of the parties talking. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Friday the 3rd. So Friday, November 3rd, how many people? For two people. Two people? Yeah. What time? At 5 p.m. See, which one is the robot? Watch the whole video for the answer. It's clearly a big step forward for AI tech that directly interacts with humans. Duplex is not available yet, but at some point it will be, and it's a pretty good look at the future capabilities of our new HomeBot friends. Check out the amazing full video at the link, along with our complete coverage of Google's I.O. event. Speaking of chatty AIs getting ever more chatty, one of the big announcements at Microsoft's Build event this year was the revelation that Amazon's Alexa AI bot and Microsoft's Cortana counterpart will make friends and possibly share in the future subjugation of all humanity. But right before that happens, the two will have tea and play nice while helping you with your daily human difficulties. Yes, you're going to have to say Alexa, open Cortana, or vice versa. But once open, the demo at the Build Show indicates they'll pretty much work as normal. It's still in beta, of course, but you can sign up to keep up on how the project is going. So check out the link below. Over to Apple now, and the walled garden is getting some weeding done as Cupertino appears to be cracking down on apps that send location data to third parties. Apps have been disappearing from the App Store if they've been found to be in violation of Apple's data location codicils, known as 5.1.1 and 5.1.2. Part of the house cleaning is due to recent privacy snafus across the tech industry in general, but app makers and tech companies in general are feeling the heat from the upcoming GDPR data privacy standards about to take effect in Europe. And since app makers don't really want to make a bunch of versions of their apps for separate countries or regions, it seems like the GDPR rules are becoming unintentionally de facto here in the States and elsewhere as well. So whose apps are getting their plugs pulled? Hard to tell straight away as they are repo Posted once in compliance, but you can bet more and more are going to go ghost for a little while as the GDPR deadline of May 25th draws ever closer. Hit the link for more details. And that's it for DT Daily Today. Be sure to head on over to digitaltrends.com for the rest of the day's tech news. And of course, check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel and all those podcasts and iTunes wherever you get yours. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.